Until this week, it was just possible to imagine a rapprochement of sorts. Not the warm brotherly affection of old, of course, but a recognition that the best way to secure the future of the monarchy lay in reconciling William and Harry. There had been talk, admittedly unconfirmed, that Harry and Meghan might be asked to spend part of the Christmas holiday with the royal family. And the word from California was that if such an invitation was forthcoming the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be minded to accept. How hollow all that soothing talk sounds today with the publication of Omid Scobie's latest biography of the royals in which he turns his malicious attention on the Princess of Wales. In a thinly veiled but venomous attack, he describes the princess as cold, a Stepford-like royal wife, while claiming her willingness to support the institution into which she has married has earned her the cruel nickname Katie Keane. In the same breath, he accuses the mother of three of being a part-time working royal compared with the number of duties carried out by other members of the family. He also lambasts her for advocating for mental health causes while ignoring Meghan's cries for help. It is not difficult to imagine how Prince William will react to this hatchet job and harsh depiction of his wife. Indeed, how would any husband respond to such demonstrably unfair claims? Far from seeking a fraternal reconciliation, such claims from his sister-in-law's cheerleader-in-chief that his grandmother, the late queen, liked Kate because she was coachable, unlike the strong-minded Princess Diana, can only deepen the rift between the brothers. Not only does this impugn the reputation of Kate, who almost single-handedly has restored the good name of the House of Windsor in the wake of the crisis precipitated by the Sussex's petulant Megzi, it simultaneously insults his mother too. If there is any consolation to be had from this lazy, one-sided version of recent royal history it is that the portrait painted of the princess is so at odds with the facts.